Recording in progress. Hello everyone and welcome to today's assembly. For those of you who are new to the school, my name is Mrs Wilkinson and one of my jobs is to look at personal development and how that's being looked at across the school. So today's assembly is going to focus on one of our school values and if you remember we have six school values and these are the things that we feel are really important for all the children in our school to be working towards and also for all our staff to be working towards as well. So today we're going to look at being respectful and I've got a few slides to show you and then there is a worksheet for you to have a go at with your staff um, in another session. So to start with, we're going to look at what respect means. So respect is caring enough to consider how words and actions impact on people, places and things. And what that means is that people are thinking about what they say and people are thinking about what they do because they understand that that affects other people and actually the places that you are and actually things that you might be using. So we can split it up into two areas so you, so you can have respect and you can show respect. So having respect is when you feel good about someone because of how they act, or it could be because you really admire the skills that they've got, or because they, they treat you in a really nice way, they're really kind to you, and they make you feel good about yourself. When you're showing respect, that's when you're caring how your actions or your words are impacting on others. So that's showing that you th you're thinking about what you're saying and you're thinking about what you're doing. You can have respect for others and you can also have respect for yourself. And that's really important because self-respect means that you feel good about who you are and that will impact on the types of choices that you make and the impact that you have on other people. So how can we show respect? So we can show respect for people, places and things by doing lots and lots of different things. So we could use kind or polite words, even when we're upset. We can remember to use manners. So that could be sharing, waiting your turn, or saying please and thank you. Accepting differences between each other is really important when we're showing respect. That doesn't mean that you have to agree with everything that everybody says, but making sure that when you do disagree, you're doing it in a kind way, and also you're accepting that other people can have a different point of view. It's also really important to think about what other people want to do so we need to be showing respect by remembering that other people can say no if they want to, or they may want to do something different to what you choose to do. It's also about being careful, making sure we don't damage places or damage things. And again, this is thinking about how that would affect other people. So if you damage something that somebody else would like to use, then that will affect whether or not they can use it. We also can look at using quiet voices or calm behavior when we're out in public or in shared spaces, because being loud or showing behavior that other people aren't comfortable with has an impact on the others around us. Also by sharing resources and only taking what you really need. So if there's a big chocolate cake that's been put down for everybody to share, only taking one piece rather than half the cake. Also how we use social media and putting things online, thinking about what it is that we're saying, thinking about the things that we're, we're deciding that we like or dislike, because we need to understand and remember the impact that that could have on someone else. So, How do we know if we are being respectful? So there's three questions that we can ask ourselves. So we can ask, how do our actions impact on people, places and things? So before we do something, or before we say something, think about how that's going to affect the person that we're saying it to, or how it's going to affect the object or the place where we are. Thinking about whether you're helping or hurting. If what you say or what you do is going to help someone, then that's behaving in a respectful way. If what you say or what you do is going to hurt someone, then that's not showing respect to somebody. And finally, thinking about how you would like to be treated. If you're going to say something or do something that actually you wouldn't like if somebody said it to you or they did it to you, then it's not going to be something that's respectful. If we're, we're treating people with kindness and treating people with respect, then it, we will get that back. 
So what is the character like of someone who is respectful? So here I'm just looking at some of the, the virtues or some of the characteristics that somebody who's showing respect to other people would have. So somebody who's respectful could be described as being kind. They'll be open-minded because they're willing to think about other people's views. They're open to, to new suggestions. So somebody who's respectful will be thoughtful, polite, caring, and they'll be a good listener because by listening, that's when we get to hear other people's views. And by listening, that has a really positive impact on other people because by listening to someone, you're telling that person actually they're important and what they're saying is important. So what I'd like you to do now or later on in the day, or even later on this week, is have a look at the worksheet that goes along with this presentation. And all you need to do is talk to your staff, talk to the other people in your class about how you could show respect to people, places and things. And then either write down or draw your ideas on the worksheets. And then you're going to keep this in your personal development portfolio. Thank you very much for listening. And I'll see you all again next week.